Now from fall feelings to fall flavors, let's head over to the kitchen to shake up some cocktails with Jason. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Jason, what is the first cocktail that we would want to enjoy, let's say, on a bit of a chilly fall day? Well, it's funny because we're actually making a margarita, even though we're making okay. fall. I know we're making <laughs> fall cocktails, but stick with me here. We're yeah. actually going to infuse a little bit of fall flavors to the margarita. So okay. everyone loves a margarita in the summer. Why yeah. not have one in the fall? I would never fight you on this. Right? <laughs> yeah, let's talk. Let's okay, make so a margarita. To a cocktail shaker, I've already got ice in the, in the cocktail shaker. I'm adding, yeah. well, of course, tequila. Yeah. Okay. So a little bit of tequila goes into the cocktail shaker. And then here comes the fall flavors. Yeah. We've got a little bit of pear juice or Ooh. pear nectar if you can find it. So a little bit of that goes in. And then what I've got here is some ginger liqueur. Now, it's a little bit nice. difficult to find, so if you can't find it, you can omit it, but it's a really nice little bit of spiciness that adds to the to the margarita. So yeah. a little bit of the ginger liqueur goes in. Ginger just screams fall, too. It does, doesn't yeah. it? And with the pear, they're, they're really good friends, mm -hmm. those two. And then, of course, you can't have a margarita without lime juice. Lime juice, yeah. Okay, so all of that goes in. And then a little bit of Angostura bitters, another sort of fall flavor. Okay. So that goes in, and then I'm just going to shake this up. I'm and such a proponent of anyone that says keep the party going. Keep the like if you yeah. can keep the margaritas going for all four seasons, I can get behind you that. Know, I'll be back in the winter Thank you. and I'll do a winter margarita Very for nice. you. What do you guys think? Yeah, I think right? that's a good idea. Okay, yes, absolutely. So, here we go. So that's look at that beautiful and color. It's, yeah, really nice. And then color. I'm gonna add a little bit of pear. Oh, nice. And a lime, and I'm gonna hand this over to my friend. Oh, thank you. And you're gonna enjoy that while I make the second cocktail. Mmm. Mm. It's the most margarita margarita I've ever drank. That's good. Oh, it's good. Wait till the winter one. Oh, I can't wait. Okay. What are we doing next? So the next one is mm. a uh, bourbon, apple cider bourbon sour. Okay. Okay, so uh, again, we're starting with a cocktail uh, shaker, but we're starting with an empty cocktail shaker. Because okay. what we're going to do is we're going to add an egg white, and that's what's going to bring mm. out the frothiness to the cocktail. So the yeah. egg white goes in, and we're using bourbon. Yep. Okay, so. A nice deep flavor. Uh, about an ounce and a half of bourbon goes in, and then we're going to add some beautiful um, apple cider. So a little bit okay. of apple cider goes in there, yeah. and then we need a little bit of lemon juice, so that goes in, and that's it. So basically you take that, and we're shaking it, we're dry shaking it, because we want the um, egg white to froth up. Okay. Then we'll add some ice. Okay, so when so you say dry shake, you mean no ice? No ice. Okay. So, and you can see, it's doing its, it's thing. It's a good thing it's delicious. Right? Because it's everywhere. And then, then that's fine. I'm going to take that out. Yeah. I'm going to add a little bit of ice okay. to that. And then just reshake it very quickly. And yes. then. I've always wondered why the egg whites, like the egg white is always there for froth. What are you missing? I'm missing your glass. Oh, well, that's so a you know problem. What, what about gonna, that one? No? I need that one for the next one, but you okay. know what? Let's do it in here. Let, why not? Is that? <laughs> You can put it in whatever you right? like. Right? Look at that. Okay, I'm there you go. I'm just going to take a small sip. There. Very nice. Unconventional glass, yeah. but whatever. We've been talking about that on the show. Use whatever you got. This is phenomenal. Right? It's actually really smooth. It's smooth. Um, it's, it's bourbon, you said? It's bourbon. Sometimes I imagine? think that that's going to be a rougher go, but it's really smooth. It's, it's lovely. It's got a little bit of lemon juice, mm. a little bit of apple cider that yes. helps like smooth it out, sitting next nice. to the fire in the in the fall. Lovely. Okay, so next, yeah. we're doing a um, dark chocolate... <gasps> Stop talking. Old fashioned, okay. but we're going to smoke it. Okay. Okay? Yeah. So, what I've done here is I've gotten some wood chips. Now, you can get these at any um, hardware store. Lovely. Okay, or at a cocktail store if you, if you have one near you. We've mm -hmm. already put uh, some ice in the glass. We've taken some wood chips. We've put them on now on a, um, in a ramekin. Yeah. And so, I've got my handy dandy um, torch. Everyone's now, got one. <laughs> Just. Pull it out for this recipe. If you have a, a kitchen torch, they are usually a little, little bit smaller, yeah. but um, whatever you can find. Yeah. So basically, we're going to... I trust you, but I'll just be over here. Light these on fire. <laughs> oh, so you're toasting them. Right. Yeah. So we want a nice flame, and then... That's... We're yeah, going to cover that, quickly. and we're going to let the smoke infuse the glass wow, and cool. the ice while we yeah. make... 
the cocktail. So the cocktail is really simple. We're okay. using bourbon again. Okay. So uh, an ounce and a half of bourbon goes into the shaker. And then we're going to add a little bit of uh, simple syrup. So usually an old fashioned has a little bit of sugar. Yeah. And then we're at, we're adding chocolate bitters. Oh, so that's so where the chocolate comes from. So instead of the Angostura, from. there's so many bitters out there right now. Mm -hmm. and cocktail stores are online. Yeah. And we're going to add a couple drops of the. Uh, it looks so scientific. <laughs> Right? It's a science experiment, everyone. And then you're just going to stir this up. Yeah. Get a stir, little stir, bit Stir, 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 stir. <laughs> and then after you're done making your cocktail, yeah. you're going to take that. You see all the smoke come out. Yeah. It's infused the glass and the ice. And you're just going to pour that over top. So this is how you get the smokiness in drinks. I never thought yeah. about that, but that makes a lot of sense. And and I know we want to get to the mulled wine as well, but I, I, I'll try this. That's what this is happening. That's this what, is, this, what is. this is. This yeah. is like actually a hot toddy Ooh. sort of. Um, oh, this is good. It's nice, eh? And yeah, you can, it's very good. The, the, the smoke comes to you as you're bringing yes. the glass to your mouth. Absolutely. Um, so this so is like a toddy. hot toddy punch you can have on your stove when your guests come over. Yeah. I basically put, take in some uh, peach. Uh, tea, tea yeah. bags. So any kind of tea, herbal tea, black tea, whatever you want. Yeah. Tea bags with a bunch of water. You let that boil. I've added um, some Canadian whiskey, yeah. some lemon juice, uh, some star anise, some rosemary, some cloves. Amazing. Let it sit on your stove. Have your guests come and. That is it right here, and we're all smelling it in the studio. It smells incredible. These cocktails are so happy. You're making me excited for fall, because it's not my right. favorite season, but now maybe it is. There Jason, you thank you. You're welcome. Find all the recipes up on CityLine.tv. Time for a break, everyone. More CityLine. Still ahead.